Thank you to Yeelight for sponsoring today's video. Hello everyone, so today we're going to be taking a look and reviewing the Yeelight Cube Smart Lamp. So it's this set of cubes that you see here behind me. They have so many cool features and things that you can play around with and do with them. So I'm going to be covering all of that in today's video for you guys. So let's get into it and cover all the features of these and exactly how they work. I will have a link in the description where you can actually go ahead and find these for yourself, get them for yourself. They are amazing and I highly, highly recommend them. So I started unboxing these. The first one was the panel light with the power supply. So this one actually had the power source um, and this is just really nice and I actually really like the panels. Then we have the matrix one, which I also unboxed, which has more of like a dot grid on it, which you can really customize to your own liking. And the third extension that I unboxed was the spotlight. So this one is a very bright light that you can shine onto a wall or something, but these are all really, really cool. So if you couldn't tell already, you have three different types of lights. You have a panel light, a matrix light, and a spotlight. So the panel light I think is my favorite, but the matrix you have a lot more options with, I must say. And then the spotlight is also really cool. So I'm gonna cover all of these. As you can see, they're stackable on top of each other, which is really nice. They attach with these little magnets. And we're gonna go ahead and take a look at all the features that these have. So all these stack on top of your little power supply box that you have. And on this box, you also have a little button that you can use to turn off or on, or you can also switch between modes with this button. So this is a really just easy way to access some of the modes and easily turn it off or on if you don't want to use the app. Setting these up were also really easy. All you need is the Light Station app. This is what it looks like. And you just go ahead and click on Add Accessory and it automatically picks it up once these are turned on. It easily picks it up. And then you can get started with selecting exactly how your module is set up and how you have stacked the lights and what orientation and all that. So here I am in the Light Station app. All you need to do to set these up is you go and tap on your lights and then go to Settings and go to Module Splicing. So here you can see you have the exact setup of how you want your modules to be set up. So right now, as you can see, this is not correctly as to how I've stacked them here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select where my power supply is positioned. So I'm gonna set it down because it is at the bottom there. And further, this is correct. So then you're just gonna click on done. It's really easy. If you don't even want all of them on one, you can remove them here, or you can, if you have changed the order, you can rearrange them and select exactly how you have them positioned. So it's a really easy setup process and I really like the ease of this. So yeah, that is how you start the initial setup. While we're here in settings, I also just wanna show you how to add these to your Apple Home Kit. So this was something that was essential for me when I was searching for LED strips a while back and luckily all Yeelight's products works with Apple HomeKit and here in South Africa we didn't have a lot of options for that so it was amazing to actually find a company that actually supports this. So all you need to do is you have to go to enable pairing mode and then click again enable pairing mode and then we'll give you an identification code that you have to copy. Then the only you need to do is you have to go into your Apple Home app, click on the plus button and click on add accessory and then we'll automatically pick up your Yeelight smart lamp that is in your area and you can just go ahead and click on that paste the code and it will add it to your home. You can change the name, select in which room you wanna save it, all that kind of stuff. But adding it to your Apple Home is really an ease of mind and now I can use it with Siri, with my HomePod and all that and ask it to turn it off or on or if I just quickly wanna change some colors from my phone, I can do that from the Apple Home app as well, but obviously you don't have as much features in the Apple Home app as in the Yeelight Station app. So the Yeelight Station app is still gonna be your best friend for these. So let's go ahead and cover all the effects and things that we can change and edit here in the Yeelight Station app. So I'm gonna go in here and first I'm gonna cover this top bit here. So you can take a look at the cubes here behind me to kind of see exactly how this looks or works. But here at the top you have all your different modes. So these are some really cool modes that you can go ahead and play around with. Right now this is just set to pixel graffiti, but let's play around with some of these modes. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but you can kind of get the gist. So here we have like spectrum, um, here we have waterfall. You can also go into each one of these and select the direction that you want these to flow in. If you want to change some of the colors, if it's not to your liking, you can go ahead and change that to your liking entirely, or you can go to reset to get it back to default. Then we have here waves. One of my favorites is the rainbow because it kind of just moves really nicely. Then fire is also a really nice one. It just has this very cool effect. Then this side here, we also have some few ones and I also like the hacking one very much. 
I think it looks super cool. You can also go in, adjust how fast you want these to move, um, and also again, the direction, all that. So these are some really cool features. They have so many that you can go ahead and choose from. I just really recommend going through all of these and seeing exactly how they work. And then also we just have here our section for turning it off or on. So I can go here, click off, click on. And also you have your brightness setting. I don't have it very high right now because it's gonna be overexposed in the video. So I just want you guys to clearly see the colors, but these can get pretty bright, which is really nice, especially at night. Then we have one of my favorite features, which is the pixel graffiti, which I previously had it on. So these are some presets that I made. So you can make your own presets or you can just go ahead and just create a completely new one. Um, so this is what it looks like. So as you can see, these are blank right now. So how this works is you can go in, select a color and draw exactly what you want on each pixel. So the first one here is gonna be my panel light. As you can see, it says that. So you can even draw on the panel light as well, which is really cool. So say I want it to be, let's go half, purple like so and uh, let's make the other half orange i don't even know how this is gonna look but let's just see that then we have our matrix light here which is actually where this feature really shines the graffiti feature because you can exactly set how you want these little lights to appear and it, it will change in real time as you can see there we have little thing but also if you don't really know what to do you can go to presets here at the bottom and they have so many that they've already created there are some cherries i think these are like pac-man type things um, you have some arrows which are really cool and you can just go through all your little things and select these pixel graffiti presets and they even have like the alphabet if you want to spell something out i have four so i can like spell out cool or something um so these are just so fun to play around with they have some numbers then they have some transitions so where this really comes to play is again with the dynamic effects which we have here so as you can see, if I go to dynamic effects, we have some options down here. So the first one I have is translation. So this will kind of take all of these into consideration and just make them run through the entire thing. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is what translation looks like. Then we have breathe, which is kind of just in and out like a, like a breath. And then we have flashing. And again, you can set how fast you want this to be so it can flash like quickly or not. Then we have accumulation, which means that it kind of builds up to the things that you have set it to. So that is what this looks like, but you can also select again, the direction that you want this accumulation to play. And then also you can choose the exact like speed if you want it to go faster. So this is also just some really cool features that you can play around with within these little presets that they have. So I highly recommend playing around with the pixel graffiti, making some cool designs and then just applying them. So once you've made some that you really like and you want to save, all you need to do is click on save here and then just give it a name. I'm just going to call this one pixels. Click done, click done. And then it saves that to all your presets so you can go ahead back to that. So this is still my favorite one, I must say. But yeah, that is how the pixel graffiti works. Then you have another one which I absolutely love, which is clock mode. So mine are not lying horizontally right now, so I don't think it's gonna look that great right now. But once you do that, it's gonna take these ones here, the matrix lights, and make them into a clock because with the dots, you can create anything. So I'm just gonna make this brighter so you can kind of see. So right now it's 1053, which is that uh, again, it's not lying horizontal, but I'll put it in some clips of it looking really cool. But you have some color options here as well. So you have eight options here for different styles for your clock. And you can also choose if you want the time, if you just want the date. So it's going to get put the month and the day of the month. And then lastly, you have time and date. So it's going to show the time, then it's going to switch to the date and then it's going to show the time again. So you can play around with that, choose which one you like and prefer. I just love the time one. I think it's really nice. So that is the clock mode, which is again, one of my favorite modes. And then lastly here in the app, we have just custom color, which is very plain and simple. It's just changing all of these, oh, man, I need to adjust that brightness to one simple color. So as you can see, I just have some preset colors here. You can go ahead and choose exactly the type of color you want. 
um, and then it will change it to that color. This is again like kind of the capabilities that you have in the Apple Home app, which is just choosing a solid color for all of these. So you don't have all that like animation or pixel graffiti or anything, but it's just a simple little color change, which still is nice sometimes as well. So that is also an option that you have if you just want it all to be one color. Then if we go out of the light, we have also here an option called music flow. So this takes in consideration any music that you're playing and then kind of moves the colors to the beat of that music. So I'm just gonna quickly test this out. I just need to find a non-copyright song real quick. So I have this song here, but I'm just gonna quickly start the music flow. So right now it's turned off, so let's click play. And then we're gonna go to the music. So as you can see, it goes with the beat and it uses the mic in your phone. So why, when I'm talking, it's also gonna go up, but you get the gist. Let's try another song with more of a beat. My phone is not playing this music very loud right now because I'm doing screen recording, so that kind of influences it. But you get the gist. But this is a really cool feature as well that you can play around with, especially like if you're just like in a party or something, I guess this would be really cool. I don't know, but uh, yeah, Music Flow is a really cool feature. Also, you have a PC app as well, which I really find cool because you can also have the Music Flow option, but with PC, you also have another option where it matches the colors on your screen to the cubes. So this feature is actually called Color Play on your PC app. The PC app is very similar to the phone app. It doesn't have all the little capabilities like pixel graffiti and all that but it has this cool color play option and again it does have music flow where it syncs your colors to whatever's happening on your screen so i think this is just a really fun feature as well because it makes your whole setup look really cool let's just turn on a cool little yeah i think we're gonna stick with that one okay so that's everything i wanted to cover by the Light cube smart lamps these are so fun i think and they're actually helpful where they have like helpful features like the clock or even just the pixel graffiti if you want to spell something out or just all the modes that they have as well. I think these put a very fun spin on just regular RGB lights. I highly recommend trying these out. Let me know in the comments which one of these are your favorite. Do you like the matrix, the panel, or the spot? And how would you use these and set them up in your setups? Thank you again to you Light for sponsoring today's video and sending these over. I've had a blast testing them out and it's really an honor to work with a company that I've been using the products of for so long. Don't forget, I have a link in the description box where you guys can go find these for yourself. Again, thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!